Hi guys, hello Mary Me to everybody, it's Michelle Marie Delaney, and today I just wanted to uh, take some time to give you a quick update, um, uh, a simple update for those of you guys uh, for tonight's regular live stream, which is having problems. So we may have found, I said may, that we did, but may have found the solution to the problem. Um, it turns out that there was a memory chip in the computer that was not seated properly. Um, so we restated that RAM chip, and it seems to be working okay. Um, I wanted to apologize first to uh, Tiger Kitty for uh, cutting you off tonight. I um, wasn't trying to be mean. I was just so highly stressed out with the phone and the computer and uh, everything, trying to find out what was going wrong, and I, I couldn't deal anymore with the phone and people talking. I just basically just had to basically just pull away from the the craziness, the, the pandemonium and, and stuff like that. So please don't take offense to the fact is that I had no choice but to basically pull away. Just, I was really, really getting overwhelmed. And um, I'm not saying we got the problem fixed, but... Um, it looks good right now. That's all I can tell you. Um, I, there still could be problems with the computer. I mean, it is a 2009. It's 11 years old. Uh, so, I mean, there could be bad memory. There could, Which it doesn't say there's any bad RAM. But as I said, the one chip was misseated. So I reseeded all of them. Um, the power supply has electrolytic capacitors. They could be going dry and old, and they could be failing eventually. It happened to my eMac. It happened to a couple of my computers, um, including a couple of Power PC ones. And um, the next computer, I could have really eventually just get down and make literally on my hands and knees on. It's work on my Mac Pro or my Power Mac G5, which just has its own problems right now. It's not completely booting in the Mac operating system. It boots fine in Linux, but for some reason the Mac is just dying. Uh, and um, I think it's because the SCSI card. We know we don't have any SCSI hardware plugged in, and I think the computer doesn't like the fact is that we don't have any SCSI hardware plugged into the machine. So it's just getting cranky. Um, since we don't have any SCSI hardware plugged in right now anyway, I might just go ahead and pull out the SCSI card and um, see if that helps the computer get started normally. Um, that's that's not a project altogether. I just want to let you know that. Um, but for now, I just wanted to let you explain to you that uh, I'm sorry that tonight's show was crazy mess. So there was a lot of things going on and... Um, I, I really was overwhelmed trying to figure out what's going on. And all of a sudden, you know, uh, running diagnostics and stuff like that. That's the nature of the computer industry, I guess. <laughs> it doesn't change if it's a computer you own or a computer or a server farm you run or whatever. Um, there's always something that can go wrong and it, you have to sit there and, and deal with it. And, um, so, no, I don't know the story about the stimulus package yet, guys. I really would love to find more about that. Um, so, for the time being, um, I just want everybody to know that I want to say thank you for uh, being patient with me and helping me uh, as I try to nail down the problems that we were having. Um, the other thing we noticed, too, was when the computer would crash... The network would go would, would go down first with a boom. Um, that was telling me that there was a driver in the in the SCSI. I mean, in the computer that was uh, possibly a bending. And the reason why it was happening when the computer was so loaded with processes was just like it sounded like the computer was using all the RAM, including the one that was not properly seated, and that's when it would crash. It wouldn't be crashing when the the computer was just, say, browsing the web. It would crash, like, if you're loaded in a computer with lots of applications running at once. Um, we first thought it was a heat problem. This morning, it may have been a heat problem because the processor was running really, really hot. Um, so we blew all, all the fans out, and they worked. Um, but I didn't even think of checking to see if the chips were seated, and so I had to get on my hands and knees quite literally several times tonight 
and it was a pain in the legs. But I got on there. I reseated the chips. I I cleaned out the fans. I I tried re reinstalling all the hard drives and putting everything back together. And um, I don't know if it's all fixed, but I removed the damaged board. People asked me about the one USB port card that was damaged, which I took out. And we put that by a replacement, which is this one. And you can see on this one here that the USB 3.0 port had broken. This is the port here. I'm going to highlight it with my fingers. This is kind of hard to see with all the, the chips here. And this port here with my fingers over had gotten broken. And I have to fix that. Okay. Now that one right there. That's, that's right. This one is broken. Um, so I have to replace that connector. I have another card similar to this I bought um, brand new. So I have two cards of the same one. So I took that out because I wondered if that may have been part of the problem, which I don't think was a bad idea to take it out because after all, it is broken. I got to fix that part. Anyway, um, so, um, but the problem is right now, the part from China, the part, the, the connector is going to cost me money I don't have right now. Um stimulus packages i don't know what the story is we got with the stimulus i didn't even get a chance to even look into the situation with the stimulus packages i've been so wrapped up trying to find out why this computer was dying on me that i just didn't have time this evening to go through that and uh so i'm going to try to look at it before i go to sleep currently it is 1 45 in the morning i'm tired and um I just want to go ahead and get ready to rest my weary head. And um, just wanted to let you know, I want to say thank you very much for being patient with us during these debugging sessions. Uh, I appreciate it so much that you are not uh, mad at me because I am trying to do the best I can with hardware that is old and cranky and at times just is a really difficult thing to get working. And we're going to try to get... Somebody kept saying to me, why don't you get a new computer? Um, believe it or not, we were going to get a PC put together for a completely different application. Um, originally to run the phone system through Asterisk, um, running Linux. Uh, that still might be a possibility to run or, you know, set up a computer or to run Linux. Or maybe I can set up one running Windows 10. Uh, that's still a great possibility. So... Well, let's see what happens, guys. That's just the nature of the computer beast here. And um, so I'll see you guys tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. It's Saturday at 7 o'clock. And uh, because right now everything seems to be running. And uh, that's all I can say. All right, guys. Have a nice night. Bye-bye.